gang, if you guys are lucky enough to start this tuna season off early and your freezer is stuffed with frozen tuna, I've got just the recipe. How about a tuna pokey bowl? When I lived and worked in Hawaii, I almost ate tuna pokey every day. I absolutely love it. I've come up with a recipe that's very traditionally Hawaiian, but I've got a special twist to this recipe because I've created the actual bowl that the pokey goes in from sushi rice. If that sounds too good to be true, hold your horses, here we go. Okay gang, so the first thing we're gonna do is cook up this sushi rice. I've got my water boiling, let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to do is drop the rice into this boiling water and turn it down to a simmer and let it simmer for 10 minutes with the lid on it. Then I'm going to place it, the rice, on a wooden cutting board and let it start to cool off. While it's cooling, I'm going to make my vinegar and sugar mixture, combine the two and add that mixture into the sushi rice. So now the sushi rice is done. I'm gonna let it cool off. And while it's cooling, I'm gonna start creating that tuna pokey. So I'm gonna reach into my refrigerator because I took my uh, frozen tuna out last night and I let it thaw in the refrigerator. Remember, never take your tuna out and put it on the countertop overnight. That's bad news. Bacteria might grow on it and you might get sick. So never thaw out your tuna that way. Always thaw it out in the refrigerator the night before or immerse it in some running water and let it thaw out that way. But anyway, so I've got my tuna in the refrigerator and so let's get going cutting up this tuna. Boy, it looks nice. But you know, hold on one second, hold on. Did I mention that I absolutely love Qingdao beer whenever I eat pokey. Oh, I started drinking this years ago back in San Clemente and I demanded this when I was in Hawaii. I'm telling you, I've got to have a little bit of this beer while I create this dish. You know, who knows, maybe I should create a brand new segment within my videos called What's Yanni Drinking Now? I don't know, but oh. Oh my, oh my God. Anyway, okay, it's time to cube up this tuna. Okay, I'm gonna shoot for, I don't know, half inch to three quarters of an inch cubed on the cut here. Oh, this piece of tuna is nice. I haven't run into any connective tissue, which is great, this, it's, which is called sinew. You don't wanna have any tuna for your, in your pokey with sinew. That doesn't work. By the way, I'm using my CUDA knives love these things. I've got links down below for these knives. The tuna's cut. Now it's time to start introducing our vegetables. Let's start off with some regular onions. If we were in Hawaii, we'd be using Maui onions. Okay, so I'm only gonna use a half an onion because I'm also gonna use green onions. So I don't wanna overpower the dish with one or the other. The thing about tuna pokey, especially in Hawaii, is it's really a balance of flavors. It's an orchestra of flavors. You don't want to have one thing that's overpowering the other. In goes the onions. Okay, on the scallions, or the green onions, I'm gonna cut them on a bias. In other words, they're gonna be cut at an angle. They just look a lot better that way. And go the green onions. Perfect, and now for a little ginger. We have to take the skin off the ginger. There's a couple of different ways to do that. There you go. And I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna mince the ginger nice and fine. Ginger adds such a wonderful flavor and very traditionally Hawaiian. Perfect. Okay. 
Now we're done with the ginger. In goes the ginger. All right, gang, so that's it. Simple enough here. We've got tuna, we've got onions, scallions, and we've got some minced ginger. Okay, it's time to make the sauce for the pokey. Quarter cup of soy sauce. Okay. And in there, we're gonna put one tablespoon of some rice wine vinegar. Boom. And we're also gonna get a tablespoon of some sesame seed oil. Perfect. And one last ingredient. We're gonna get one tablespoon of some vegetable oil. And I've learned that that tablespoon of vegetable oil will give a nice sheen a nice glossy look to our pokey. God, I wish you could smell this. The sesame seed oil is just penetrating the whole kitchen. Oh my God. Mm. Whenever I smell that combination of sesame seed oil and soy sauce, it just sends me over the edge. All right, gang, now it's time to mix. So this is ready for the refrigerator. All right, so the tuna's in the refrigerator. Now it's time to play with the sushi rice. The first thing we need to do is drink some more beer. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna take this sushi rice and I'm gonna make four sushi rice bowls. So I'm gonna partition this into four equal parts. Check this out. Okay. Now I've got an ordinary bag, plastic bag that I got from the Asian market. You know, you get these bags at any market when you go into the grocery section and you put your carrots or your tomatoes in these bags. So I've got this bag in here and I am going to take one portion of this rice and put it in the bag. So we've got this rice sitting in this bag and we're going to form it into a ball. Just roughly, okay? Then, I'm gonna take a pinch bowl. Now you guys have seen me use these pinch bowls a million times. I usually put salt or pepper and I use my fingers and I grab and I use it when I'm cooking, right? But I'm gonna take this rice that's in this bag and I'm gonna put it in this pinch bowl and I'm gonna start forming the rice in the pinch bowl. Check this out. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my fingers and push this rice so that it gets the shape of the bottom portion of this bowl. Use my thumbs here to push. Okay, so now I've got it pressed and flat and then I'm gonna actually press in the middle to, to make a depression right in the middle. There we go, okay. Take it out. I'm gonna wet my hands. Wet hands, remember. Wow, look at that. Remember, you've gotta firmly press so this thing stays together. And if it falls apart on you, put it back and do it again. Okay, let's get number two going. Oh man. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Ugh. Okay, there's number two. Here we go, number four. Here they are, here they are. These are my creation. I've never seen anything like this before. And if you ask me how I came up with this, I'll tell you I dreamed about it last night. I, you know, I don't know how I came up with it, who knows. But anyway, these are gonna work and we are moments away from final assembly in you. Oh my goodness, okay. Now we're gonna garnish with some red chili flakes. And there we have it, oh my goodness. I, I know I could eat all four of these, but it'd be so easy to make these for a party or make these for your family or friends. 
and create this dish and blow some minds and enjoy yourself some great tuna pokey. My name is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly, along with my beer here. Anyway, thanks for joining me today and spending some time. Remember to subscribe, and if you need some more pokey recipes, right over here I've got a ton of pokey recipes, but definitely do try this one. We'll see you guys in the next one.